uh, a little more detailed uh, presentation by Detective Godoy. He does a beautiful job. I hope uh, everybody got some informative information from that. Yeah, we do have MS-13 in Huntington. Uh, we've had assaults in the precinct recently. Um, we got one of the best gang teams, I'd say, in the county. Um, uh, my team, uh, I'm proud of the work they do, and uh, they monitor um, all the gangs, but mainly they've been concentrating on the MS-13. So uh, just if that gives you some peace of mind, you know, we got some guys that are really, uh, they're really locked in on what's going on out there. And it's a concern of mine, like he said, because there's an influx of people and I don't want to see the ranks swell up. So we're going to stay on top of all of that. But we'll get on with the regular meeting now. <clears throat> Here are the index crimes for the year. Uh, we're not bad for the year. If you, you know, uh, we have no murders. That's good. Robberies. Um, we have five. We're up a little bit in robberies. Uh, I'm not too happy about that. We have, uh, we're down a little in assaults from last year. Uh, and uh, residential burglaries down a decent amount, but we've recently had a spike in those, so that's another concern I'm having. Um, commercial burglaries were down pretty good, and then uh, loss and ease were down, and vehicle thefts were down. And this is monthly in March, okay? Um, we're up slightly in, in a lot of uh, areas, so in robberies in March, we had three robberies in March. Uh, we had nine assaults in March. Residential burglars, we had six. That's an increase. That's a little, a little too many. Uh, commercial burglars, we only had one. We're down a little. And then uh, lost knees were up a little bit, and uh, vehicle thefts, we were even. This is one of the robberies uh, that you saw before. Uh, this was on West Hills Road on Friday the 1st, about 7, 18 p.m. Complain was walking down the street when he was approached by an unknown male. I pulled out a knife and he demanded the victim's wallet. The suspect fled eastbound on Wessels Road with the wallet. Nobody was injured. Another robbery, uh, this took place on Saturday the 23rd, about 9, 17 p.m. on Academy Place in Huntington Station. Uh, the complainant and his friend were sitting in their parked vehicle eating Chinese food when they were approached by two male suspects. One of the males displayed a handgun and demanded the victim's keys, cell phone, and wallet and they fled northeast on foot with over $2,000 in cash. Okay, this was a robbery. Uh, this was reported. This was a domestic incident. This is, um, so it was reported on the 5th. I'm sorry. Um, this occurred May 5th of uh, 23, so last year, May. Um, the location was 5th Street in Huntington, East 5th Street. And then uh, the, it says on, uh, she, the complainant came into the precinct on the 22nd of uh, March and uh, to report that in May of 23, her son entered her residence, displayed a gun, demanded that she open her safe and give him all her money, which was about $25,000. And then he also demanded that the mother add him to the deed of the property she owned in Brooklyn. This was the poor woman's uh, life saving. So this is her own son. And this is being investigated by the detectives. Um, this, again, talking about burglaries, Saturday on the 2nd, East 4th Street, Huntington Station. Complainant was home when an unknown male kicked in the front door to his residence. He uh, confronted the suspect and he was able to hold him until the police arrived. The suspect was arrested at the scene and charged with burglary second degree. So luckily that guy was home and he heard the commotion and uh, confrontation ensued and we were able to arrest the guy and charge him with burglary. Another burglary um, on Tuesday the 12th between 9.45 a.m. and 2.45 p.m. So nobody was home all day. Melville Road, Huntington Station. Uh, complainer reports unknown subject unlawfully entered his residence through a rear door and while inside stole the safe from the bedroom containing $5,000. This is another one, uh, Thursday the 14th, 1 a.m. Uh, in the morning until 10 a.m. in the morning. Nobody home on Renwick Avenue in Huntington. The complainant reports that an unknown suspect pried open the basement window to enter the residence. Unlawfully uh, enter and steal collectible sneakers, assorted jewelry, and power tools. That was valued at 
over 43000 The sneakers apparently are worth a lot of money. Uh, Friday the 22nd, Lauren Avenue in Dix Hills. This was between 3.30 and 7.30 p.m. Again, a lot of times people aren't home. Complainant returned home to discover that uh, the unknown suspects broke the rear sliding door to the residence. While inside, the suspects ransacked the residence and stole jewelry and luxury pocketbooks worth about 30000 there's an ongoing theme with the rear sliding door, the rear door. It's always, you know, usually they try to enter in the back. Nobody can see them in the rear of the house. Um, Friday the 22nd, Marlin Street, Dix Hills, 10.45 to 11 p.m. Nobody's home. Uh, the complainer reports they broke the sli uh, side window to gain access to his residence. While inside, they stole uh, jewelry and cash worth about $10,000. And this is another one in Dix Hills, Bonaire Drive, on Friday the 22nd, about 11.15 p.m. Compa uh, the complainer reports that unknown suspect broke the rear slider again, began entrance to his residence while inside the suspect stole jewelry and a shotgun. The value was about 3500 Are they breaking the window on, or just breaking the... So on some of them, the rear slider is the, the method of entry, and then okay. sometimes the side window... window yeah, they smash it with a rock or they pick up a paver or whatever's handy and uh, they run in. They're in and out quickly. Um, so you got to, if you're out, you know, and if you're home, you know, I always ask this from all everybody. Anybody, you know, if you see anything suspicious or you see a car, I know in one of them they parked the car around the corner. We have some video on that. The detectives are investigating all of these, but we get leads from when we get, you know, video from ring doorbells and stuff where we maybe can trace a car or, you know, just get a description of these guys. Because in a couple of those, they were they were close by. There was two of them that were only within a few blocks. But uh, most of the other ones were kind of spread out. Uh, we did some compliance checks, which is when we checked the uh, vape shops and for uh, selling vapes to underage and also selling alcohol. This was on Tuesday the 6th, about uh, 3 in the afternoon, in uh, basically the whole town of Huntington. Our offices, along with the, uh, some of the town of Huntington guys, uh, did uh, six checks, and um, they were completed with one store. Only one store out of six were in, was in compliance, and the, uh, all the following stores were in violation. Nirvana, Hemp Cloud, Huntington Smoke and Vape, Evolve, and Smokey. Uh, in these cases, they were charged um, different charges for different shops, um, unlawfully dealing with a child first, which is when they sell them alcohol, underage, unlawfully dealing with a child second is the tobacco. And in uh, one of the shops, the guy was selling um, breast knuckles, metal knuckles, and metal knuckle knives, which is his possession of a weapon. He can't do that. He said he didn't know, but he was arrested and charged with that. We did a massage parlor raid also on the 28th. In response to community complaints, uh, our, our offices, our plain clothes offices, district attorney's office, town of Huntington Fire Marshal, town of Huntington Building Department, uh, conducted an investigation into Rui Healing, uh, Inc., located at 201 East Main Street, Huntington. Two workers were arrested and charged with unlawful practice of a profession. That's a, a felony, and then prostitution also. Um, the town of Huntington issued several violations and uh, is continuing their investigation into that business. We did a search warrant uh, on uh, Saturday the 30th, about 6 a.m., on Norwich Street in Huntington Station. All detectives and our narcotics squad executed a search warrant. They recovered uh, crack cocaine and uh, U.S. currency. One subject was charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance, fourth and uh, criminal possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell both felony charges. The site team, uh, I discussed this at prior meetings, is the highway patrol officers. They, um, they come into the precinct on occasion to help us out with traffic enforcement. Uh, they do a tremendous job, and uh, they, they use a lot of the locations that we give to them. We get community complaints, and you'll see them listed up there. So they were in, uh, this is uh, for February, right? Yeah, last month I didn't have the stats, so I'm giving you February. They were also here in March. Um, they were here, and they hit those locations. 
uh, total amount of summonses issued were 128 and 100 of them, or 106 of those, were for moving violations. And here we are in March, again, different locations, you can read them. Um, they hit, uh, they, they issued uh, 125 with 103 for moving violations. So there's no shortage of moving violations out there between the, those uh, offices and my offices. Um, we're, we're handing out quite a few uh, tickets. Just can you hold the question till the end? I go through it and then I'll take it. Fatal accidents. Um, yes, unfortunately, for the much of, uh, month of March, uh, there was a pedestrian that was struck um, early on the 18th um, down in uh, in the village there at uh, New York and Maine. And uh, I think, uh, I don't know if it's male or female, but the victim died in the hospital like two days later. So we have one so far for the year, which is not really that bad, but, you know, we hate to have any. And uh, these are our arrest numbers for, uh, I'm sorry, that should be March. Um, so felonies, 34. Misdemeanor, 87. Assault-related arrests, 11. Gang-related, uh, seven gang members were arrested with a total of 13 charges. And to break it down into the gangs, uh, two MS-13, the charges for weapons and resisting arrest, two bloods, uh, aggravated harassment, and larceny. One five percenter drugs. I don't know what if, I don't know. That's the, the click he's in or whatever. And then one crip for resisting arrest. And then as uh, Larry said, uh, one trend de agua for menacing. Okay. So we had the first arrest of the trend de agua in Huntington. But it, go back a second. Did, did we skip something? Oh, yeah. Uh, and then the bottom drug related arrest 15, Dewey's nine. And about a total of 161. Is that March or February? That was, I said, yeah, that's March. It's my, my mistake. Go ahead. Uh, again, domestic incidents uh, should be March. And overdoses, domestic inc incidents, we responded to about 174 in the precinct. And out of that, we had 13 arrests. There could be more pending, but sometimes the offender's not there. And then, you know, we have to do an investigation. So it, the number could be higher, but that's how many confirmed arrests we had. And then overdoses, um, four non-fatal. And uh, those are locations, two hunting station, one in Greenlawn, one in East Northport, and unfortunately two fatals, one in Huntington Station and uh, one in Greenlawn. That's for March. I caught up here. I got March. All right, shot spotter, <laughs> five activations uh, of the shot spotter. For those of you who don't know what the shot spotter is, it's a uh, it's a system that was set up by this company, and they have sound um, devices set up in an area, Huntington Station. And if gunshots go off, the sound devices pick it up, and they're able to pinpoint a location to within like very uh, really close uh, proximity, which you know five yards, whatever. So the officers get it on the screen in the computer in their car, and they're able to go. And they look for evidence to see if uh, if there was in fact gunshots there. Sometimes other things are mistaken for gunshots, like fireworks and backfires on vehicles. So all of these, if you want to look at where they were and everything, the officers responded. And when I have neg results, that's negative results. So they didn't find anything. They didn't. We didn't have any victims. We didn't find any shell casings. So there might have been five activations, but we had no discharges of weapons, as far as we know. Okay, I'll get to the question. Again, every month, the same thing. Uh, larcenies are big. I don't know if anyone saw the commissioner on TV last night. He mentioned larcenies. We have uh, commercial uh, larcenies in the stores. It's a big problem. But we have so many of uh, our residents are victims because they just leave their cars open and they leave valuables in them. And I can't tell you how many reports I look at that, you know, Somebody left their computer in the car, and it's just, if you could just take that stuff out, you know, it just, it, it makes it so much easier for us and, and harder for them. But, you know, they, they rarely break the windows. They really just try the doors. But people leave valuables in there, and it's just, it makes it easy for them. So if you can remember to do that, that really helps us out. Uh, gift cards, again, anybody that calls you up and is asking you to get go buy gift cards and give them the numbers or whatever, that's going to be a scam. 
Nobody gets paid in gift cards. So like if PSE and G calls you and says, oh, your, your bill is overdue, go buy gift cards. Nobody does gift cards. So if you hear gift cards, either hang up the phone or call 911 and say somebody's trying to get gift cards. It's a scam. All right. Uh, this, this, uh, phone call with a relative, um, is, is, uh, another frequent, frequent, uh, frequently used one. Um, so someone calls you and says, you know, one of your, your niece or something was arrested for a DWI and, uh, they, you got to post bail for her. They just recently arrested somebody. They tried to get, uh, $30,000 from somebody they said, you know, I'm going to come and collect the money. I might have been a Nassau, but they got the guy, which made me very happy because these scams, they really, they prey on elderly people a lot of times and it just boils my blood. But so just know that, you know, um, if, if someone calls you saying somebody was arrested, see if you could figure out a way to, to contact that person through somebody else or another else. Hey, check on someone so you know if anything happened because it's pretty much a scam, but they use it all the time because they're successful. And then links that pop up, just be careful. Everything, there's a lot of phishing scams out there. And then once they get you locked in, there's another thing they've been doing where they, you know, they say they're from the FBI and maybe uh, they found pornography or something on your computer and people get off you know, freaked out and they're like, Oh, you got to pay. We're going to, we're going to take care of it. You know, and they don't do that. The FBI doesn't ask you for money or anything like that. So just know that that's a, a false also. And we got some events coming up. We got the prom project. Um, so April 4th, tomorrow, or tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, four to eight <laughs> at the, uh, Flanagan center. If you need a address or like a, uh, a tux or whatever, they, they have donations, and I guess you could go pick it out. Is that how it works? Yeah. There it is. Okay. Senior, senior prom. Okay, so you're involved with this also. So they're doing the senior, senior prom and uh, at the uh, Flanagan gym. But we won't be carding anybody. Okay. Prove that All right. Senior. Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you know, they have to read. Okay, so. If anyone's interested and in, or maybe you have, you know, your parents or whatever and they want to go to this and have a nice time, it sounds like a good event. Yeah. Yeah. Look at yeah. live music. It's nice. Good night out. And then uh Operation Medicine Cabinet. Everybody has old prescriptions they want to get rid of. If you have them and uh you don't have a way to dispose of them, we do take them into precinct, but these are some other options uh on different dates if you want to take a picture of this. Uh it seems like through the month of May, there's going to be plenty of places to uh, to drop them off. A lot of the libraries. Unity Day this Yay. this Saturday, yes, this Saturday Unity Day. Okay, big parade and festival um, starts at on um, the primary school at 253 Jefferson Primary School, Oakwood Road. The parade goes uh, south, right, and uh, travels to Stimson at 401, and then there's a big festival set up there. So hopefully we have good weather. Because tonight's horrible, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's see everybody there. I'll be there. Okay, is that it? And then the next meeting uh, is the seventh. We're back to Tuesday, and this will be at the precinct. Um, yeah, so we'll be back. Sorry, uh, somebody said that I screwed up on the date on on tonight. I pushed it back a week, and then anyway, I just moved it one day. It was because they had the election last night. There was a primary election here, and uh, so we couldn't use the we didn't couldn't use the facility, so that's why it was changed. Just skip that. That's not working right now. And that's uh, contacts. So you can leave that up, and we'll take questions.